South Africa has one of the highest rates of high blood pressure in the world, with more than 6 million people suffering from it. The latest studies show that around one out of every four people between the ages of 15 and 65 suffer from this condition, which means a proverb could be a statistic. Though, judging by the way he jumps around on stage, I'm sure your heart and your blood pressure are actually fine. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so for your kids' sake. I mean, we're both fathers. Yeah. I mean, what's dadhood like these days? This is it. Listen, my kids are brilliant. They're smart. They're developing at a rate that is scary. I almost have to read up just to be able to have a good conversation with these guys, you know, yeah. but I love it. That's awesome. And a family man, which is great. Yes, yes, which sir. Which is also why we want you to be around for a long time, because mm -hmm. I know as a father, I want to see my kids grow up and, and and sing and perform and, and, and you know do all of that sort yeah. of stuff. See them get married. Feel the but also way. do it with them, like run with them, jump with them, as opposed to sitting mm -hmm. on the side the whole time. Yeah. <gasps> exactly. Okay, so let's make sure that you know where you stand when it comes to high blood pressure. Let's all do right, it. Give it to me. So 10 questions. I hope you've done the quack quiz to see how you compare to uh, Proverbs score. Here goes. Question one. Yes. What increases your risk of having high blood pressure? Proverb, mm. being overweight or being over six feet tall? Being overweight. Absolutely. How tall are you? I'm 175. Okay, which is just under six feet. I'm not doing too badly. <laughs> All right, good first question. What is the most common symptom of high blood pressure? Is it dizziness and headache or feeling normal? Dizziness and headache, obviously. It's actually yeah. not. It's feeling normal. I really? Think you, yes. What do you know? I mean, that's the irony. You may have high blood pressure and not even know it, which is why it's often referred to as the silent killer. Now, I'm feeling normal. Should I be worried? Yes. <laughs> Uh, and that's a very good point. All right, yeah. one down, uh, in fact, two down, one other one, All one right. other two. Uh, which of these is generally the first step in dealing with high blood pressure, medication or lifestyle changes? Um, I would imagine lifestyle change. And you would imagine, right, yeah, you might not need medicine if yeah. you, uh, for example, start exercising, eat healthy, lose weight, quit smoking, all that sort of stuff. You don't smoke, eh? No. Of course no. you don't. Too healthy for that. Question four, which of these is a critical lifestyle change for lowering blood pressure? Mm. Stop smoking mm -hmm. or avoid strenuous exercise? Stop smoking. I, I think I gave that away <laughs> in the previous one. <laughs> yeah. In fact, each yeah. cigarette you smoke temporarily increases your blood pressure for many minutes after you finish, so not a great mm. idea. None of us are smokers, so that's fine. Question five, the maximum recommended daily intake of salt is one teaspoon or one tablespoon? Uh, one teaspoon. Yeah. Okay, an obvious question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And didn't I hear that they're trying to uh, pass law to reduce the Absolutely. amount of salt that South Africans take? That are, not, is that correct? Not, not that you can legalize that. I mean, imagine sure. going to prison for having too much salt, but you know, potentially yeah, yeah, yeah. we should. But you're right. Uh, there's a big drive to minimize the salt intake. Yeah. In fact, it's been estimated that a universal reduction of the intake of sodium, salt, by about three grams a day would lead to a 50% reduction in the number of heart attacks and wow. strokes. I mean, it's insane. Where does the majority of salt in our diets come from on the subject? Mm. Salt added at the table or processed foods? Um, I think at the table. At the table? Yeah. It's yeah. actually processed foods. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Because I, mean, I, I know you throw on salt before you've even tasted it sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. The minute you see a lack of potato on the, on the, on the, on and, the and plate. It is, and it's a South African thing. Yeah. I mean, we do use a lot of salt, but most of the salt is processed is foods. Is it really? Yeah. Mm. In fact, as little Good as they know. say, about 10% is what we it's throw on and the rest is all processed. Wow. Okay, I hope you're keeping How score. I, doing? I don't know, man. I've just <laughs> lost track. <laughs> True or false? Your personality can influence your risk of high blood pressure. True or false? False. false. Your really? person personality, come on, versus... I mean, I could be like mopey and moody, but active. No? No, you're so right. It is I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do the Jerry Max thing. You know, are you sure? You, know, you have me going. It's absolutely false, man. Although stressful situations yeah. can cause temporary increases in blood pressure, you aren't destined to develop high blood pressure because you're energetic, uh, stressed, or whatever the case is. No, you're fine. If you have a history of high blood pressure or are taking medication for it, which of these should you avoid? Right. Over-the-counter decongestants mm -hmm. or penicillin? <sighs> oh, this is hard, man. I don't know. know. Yeah, now you're getting higher grade on me. Uh, over the counter? Over the counter, so right. Yeah. <laughs> Certain decongestants <laughs> will affect medication, all sorts of things, so avoid those. In fact, check with your doctor, that's the most important that's a, thing. Sure, hey? sure, Make sure. sure. That's, High you, blood that's pressure. you, Mike, I'm going to be calling yeah. you. <laughs> you got my number. <laughs> High blood pressure medication is usually prescribed, what, under stressful conditions or for life? I think under stressful conditions, and I motivate that because you can change your lifestyle, so I would imagine there's a point you may not need it. I like your motivation. Mm -hmm. It is wrong. Uh, <laughs> do I get you, a point for the motivation? You get least? half a point, yes. No, I, I mean, the, the point is, if you take taking medication, yeah. it is for life, because you can't mm. cure blood pressure, you All can right. only manage it. And once you've been diagnosed, you're on treatment. Now, if you change your lifestyle, just out of interest, sake, 
can you not ad address it or cure it? You could probably minimize oh, or just what medication you're taking. Final question. As adults, obese children have what risk for developing high blood pressure compared to a normal weight peer? In other words, as obese kids, yeah. what are the chances of uh, developing high blood pressure? Two times higher or four times higher? Four times. Yeah, of course you're going to yeah. pick the big one. That's cool. So what score do you think you got? Look, that felt like a nine and a half to me, to be honest with you. You know nine what I mean? But, yeah, nine and a half, nine and a half. There was that one I wasn't sure about. <laughs> I, get, I, I get bad news. Six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. That's, like, oh. that's just under a B. It's like a B minus. Is that enough know? to at least be a doctor? Can I leave you saying I took the test and now I'm doctor for it? It is actually a quack. <laughs> a quack, if you like. You only need a 15% for that. Yeah, thanks for being that's on the show, man. Thank you very that much, That was awesome. Mike. Great to have yeah, you. Yeah. Thanks for chatting and uh, love to the kids and the cool. boys. Thank man. you, and you too. Yeah.